Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Smalin. If you're new here, welcome! So today I'm going to show you my best tips on how to get a snatched, lifted face using just makeup. So I'm going to show you my techniques to get that kind of look and what to think about, what not to do. So if you want to learn how to achieve that, then just keep on watching. Okay, let's go. As you can see, I have applied my foundation and also my eyebrows because, yeah, you don't need to see that. <laughs> and of course, you could do the fox eye eyebrow as I did in this video where I showed you my take on the fox eye look. But I prefer to do other techniques to kind of get a lifted look both for my face and my eyes and everything and I will show you that now and before I continue with my face I'm going to do my eyeshadow I'm going to do a really easy eyeshadow today just to kind of show you what I mean <laughs> so basically I'm just going to take my bronzer this is the hula bronzer from benefit and I'm just going to take this to my crease So I'm just going to feather this out, make it nice and blended. Like that. Yeah, so this is basically the eyeshadow that I'm going to do, so yeah. A nice contour for the eyes and that is as I said what I'm going to do before I go in with concealer now I finally remembered to pick up a new eraser concealer this is a brand new one this is in the shade 01 light oh never know how much I'm going to twist this before the product comes out There we go. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to take some here. I don't know if you can see. And on the same side here. Taking some in the inner corner and down the side of my nose. Taking just a very tiny amount down. No, so. Trying to make it straight. That's not 100%, but it's good enough. And I'm just trying to get it pretty symmetrical. And I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit while I take my contour shade. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Toast. And I usually use so much more than I need to, so now I'll just take it on the back of my hand and just work it into the brush. And I'm just going to place this kind of along my cheekbone. But don't put it too low because then you will kind of have the opposite effect and I'm just going to press it kind of up towards my temple not too high either I'm doing the same to the other eye eye to the other cheek and then I'm just going to take a bit under my lip not too much and I'm going to take a bit on the sides here and a bit like on the top of my forehead just to shrink it a bit. Now I'm just going to work this into my face. I know I look so crazy now, but it will get better, I promise. And then with 
what's left on the brush I'm just going to take it under my jawline here now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and I'm going to blend out the concealer and just right so I'm just starting under my eyes here And here is the magic part so I like this beauty blender this is from Sigma and this has an angle so it's really nice to kind of take the eye portion here so I just angle the beauty blender with my lower eye and I just pat the concealer in that way so it will make kind of a lifted effect on the eyeshadow. I have missed this concealer so much. So now I'm just going to go over to the contour. And I'm just going over everything so it's all nice and blended into my skin so it looks more natural. As natural as it can. <laughs> and now I'm going back to the concealer and I'm just going to pop some here right under my cheekbone and I'm just going to take the foundation brush that I used for my foundation today to blend this out and then to just blend this a bit better I'm going to take the contour brush and just go over that again So that is all the cream products that I'm going to use, so now I'm just going to set this with my Laura Mercier setting powder. And I will say that this is not my daily makeup routine, this is like my going out or I have a lot of time on my hands makeup routine. But I will link my everyday makeup routine here if you want to see a very easy quick look. And I'm just setting my whole face very lightly. And of course, you can also bake on the areas where we put concealer to make it kind of last longer and be a bit brighter. But I don't... Yeah, baking doesn't really work for me. I I feel like it makes my skin really dry and looks crusty kind of. So I don't like that. But if you do, you do you. Yeah. So now I'm going to go over to my... Hula bronzer again. I'm, I'm going to just top off the bronzer here. I know it doesn't really need that much, but I like to just go over with powder so it lasts longer and it's a bit more precise and defined. So I like to use either, whoa, either really small brushes like this one, or I really like the brush that comes with the Hula bronzer and the Benefit products this is really narrow and kind of like the cream contour brush that I use so you can be a bit more precise and it kind of helps you guide the product where you want it so I'm just taking a bit of product I'm not using very much and I'm going to just follow the bone structure here and just take it upwards to lift the face so Everything you kind of pull up is helping to lift the face. If I were to pull this kind of straight or downwards, it would look really droopy and I, yeah, you wouldn't get the effect that you would want. And I'm also taking this kind of under my lip here. I'm taking it under my nose to lift the nose 
of course if you have a really pretty perfect nose you don't need to do that i like to just lift it a bit and then i'm just taking a really light touch on the sides of my nose and also over my nose here this will also help to lift the tip cute now i'm going to go in with my blush <laughs> my favorite blush this is the butter blush in nude silk and this is for me at least the perfect color it looks really natural like it could be just a natural flush and i love that so i'm just going to take this on my dual fiber f50 brush and here's the trick if you want a more lifted look a more yeah snatched look you would want to place your blush between your bronzer contour and your highlighter so what i do is that i start from kind of the inner part here and i'm taking it all the way out kind of lifting it up towards the temple like the bronzer so i don't know if you can see this as well on camera as i do in real life but that makes kind of the whole face just lift so now i'm just doing the same thing to the other cheek And just keep in mind that blush is the first thing to go so if you put on a bit extra it won't look as crazy in just a couple of hours so now to the last step of the face makeup is the highlighter so i'm really on and off with highlighter i don't use it every day i use it when i want to look a bit extra healthy and glowy but yeah uh, I usually don't use it in my everyday makeup. This is, by the way, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the pressed version in Moonstone, which is my favorite highlighter. To kind of help lift your face with highlighter, kind of think of where the sun would naturally hit your face. And don't put it too low. So now, I can see that the light naturally hits my cheekbone here so if I were to place the highlighter here it would look like the top of my cheekbone is lower and you would kind of get the opposite effect so just keep that in mind kind of look and study your face with the light and see kind of where the light hits you So now I'm just going to apply some brow gel and then I'm going to finish off the eyes. And literally everything I do with my eyebrows to kind of make them more lifted is to just use gel to make them go up. So none of the hairs are kind of drooping the eyebrow down. So what I'm going to do to finish off the eyes is just a really simple winged liner with eyeshadow. So I'm just going to zoom you guys in. Hello. So I'm going to take my Dose of Color Francation palette, my favorite palette, and I'm going to take this darkest shade here, which is Jeans. And I'm going to take this on an angle brush. This is just a random Morphe brush. And I'm going to tap up most of it. And I'm going to angle the brush like we did with the concealer. Angle it with my lower lash line here. Kind of how it would follow up. And I'm going to take it 
a bit, a couple millimeters towards the center of the eye and just stamp it down. And I'm just going to lick it out. And now what I'm going to do is just going from the center of my eye here and just going like following the lash line and connecting it to the wing here making it pretty straight out and of course you can do this with some black liner for a bit more dramatic effect and then i'm going to get my blending brush again and i'm just going to go over this kind of flicking it up up and away and to make the eyes more precise again i'm going to take a concealer brush and i'm going to just take on a bit concealer and just follow the line here and now you can kind of mold it or shape it in the angle that you want I like mine pretty straight going upwards and I'm just trying to make it as symmet symmetrical as possible <laughs> and now I'm just going to tap over with my finger so it's not like a perfect perfect line but it is pretty perfect still and now before I zoom you guys out again I'm sitting like hunched <laughs> but yeah now before I'm going to zoom you guys out I'm just going to apply some mascara and I'm going to use the on the rise volume lift mascara from NYX when I want a more lifted effect I just apply mascara to the outer half of my lashes and I focus it the most on the outer outer lashes there and I don't apply anything to my lower lashes but if you like that you do that so now I'm going to apply some false lashes these are the lashes that I'm going to use. These are the Cleon Dreamy lashes. They are actually like these. I've just cut them so they kind of fit half my eye. So what I'm going to do when I apply this is that I'm going to apply it pretty straight. And I'm going to apply it a bit like at the front I'm going to apply it towards like on my lash line. But... I'm going to lift the outer part a bit so it's a bit higher than my actual lash line so that gives the illusion that my eye is more lifted like yeah <laughs> you'll see so this is what I mean so this makes the eye look more almond shaped and less round so you can see the difference between my eyes now So guys, this is the finished look. I really hope that you like these techniques. Please let me know if you test out any of these tips. And yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to support me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.